in Nepal, we grow up with a culture that is about love, compassion, and action. This philosophy is something very profound in remote areas. It's about balance between humans and nature. I'm Rinjin Funjok Lama. Every day I work with the local communities in the remote Nepal so that we can protect unique mountain environments. The pressure on wildlife is increasing more than before. Definitely there's an impact of climate change in terms of rainfall and snowfall. Human encroachment into the habitat, the illegal hunting, these are constantly putting pressure on the wildlife and the habitat. No leopard. Female or young juvenile, 38, 50 meters. We aim to document what we have in terms of biodiversity. It can be plants, animals, birds. This helps us identify the priority areas with a goal to protect what we have and to restore the declining populations. The working season is very short and we have to cover a vast landscape. My area, Humla, is almost 6,000 square kilometer, and I'm the first environmental graduate. So by default, I'm becoming the first conservationist. Humla covers the largest non-protected landscape in Nepal and offers habitat for some of the most threatened species in the world. In the remote mountains, livelihood has always been the priority. For example, livestock has been being one of the primary source of livelihood. When you have a livestock get killed by some carnivores, like snow leopard or wolf or jackal, you see? people suffer huge loss. They kill the culprit animal. There has to be balance between wildlife conservation and the community needs. The first thing is we need trust that we are doing something good for local communities. They have to be empowered to take part in the process. I see a similar culture same religion. This is something that really helps. The Rolex Award is that component that helps me with the long-term vision. We have a plan to support the communities with livelihood diversification and also build predator-proof coral and light deterrent devices. If you want to bring change, you have to start from yourself first. But at a large scale, alone I cannot do anything. We are doing a school eco clubs. We will mentor them. We will try to produce a student who is interested to pursue their careers in the field of environment conservation. In life, one should have a passion and the feeling of adventure. I really want to follow my passions, and that is what my work offers me every day.